So let's see how we can use our definition of continuity to solve some problems. And this might seem abstract, but it's really going to tie exactly into a uh, concept that we're going to be using going forward in the next week or so. So here's a problem. I've got this piecewise function defined at f that f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 over x minus 3 if x is not equal to 3. And notice that if we put 3 in here, that would be 0 over 0. So that wouldn't be a logical definition. And so if x is equal to 3, I'm going to set this equal to k. And the question is, what value of k could we assign to this function in such a way that the function is continuous at 3? All right, so let's go back and think about what our definition of continuity is. That we need to have the limit exist. The function has to be defined at 3, and those values have to be equal. All right, so let's think about it first. We can take care of the second problem first, that f of three is equal to what? Do you remember how piecewise functions work? Well, we've got these two rules and we need to figure out which one to apply when the input is three. Well, we can use this bottom one. So f of three is equal to k. Now the limit as x approaches three of f of x though, this is using every value of x other than three. So for this, we're gonna use the top function. So we need to calculate the limit as x approaches three of x squared minus nine over x minus three. So we need to figure out if this limit exists. How do you think we can do that? Because if, like we saw before, if we plug three in for x, we're going to get zero over zero. So that's not gonna help us to calculate that limit. So this is a quadratic expression. So let's see if we can factor it. That not only is a quadratic expression, but it's the difference of two squares. So hopefully, you're getting stronger at recognizing that x minus 3 times x plus 3 over x minus 3. And those two values cancel out. So you've got the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3. And we can use rule 1 and substitute 3 for x. All right. So the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x is equal to 6. So let's take a look at our condition. We need to make sure that f is continuous at 3. So does the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x exist? Yes, it's equal to 6. Does f of c exist? Yes, it's equal to k. And those values have to be equal. So in order for the function to be defined here and to be continuous at 3, this is just saying we need to set k equal to 3. I'm sorry, k is equal to 6. So this k has got to be equal to the limit. All right, so k equals 6 is the value of the, the function at 3 in order for the function to be continuous at 3. So let me show you in GeoGebra what this, what this looks like. So here's our function, y is equal to x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And you can see that it looks exactly like a straight line. In fact, it looks like the line y equals x plus 3, which is what we got when we, after we did the canceling, except for the one difference that there's this open circle where this function isn't defined at 3. So what we just calculated is what the graph is showing us that when x is 3, having an output value of 6 is going to remove that removable discontinuity. All right, so that is a key idea that you're going to be doing uh, for half of your IXL assignment, or for half of the problems in your IXL assignment. In the next video, we'll take a look at another kind of question that can come up when you're talking about limits.